You're welcome. Alright, we're helping our Andromeda friends out. So the last thing I want to do is water supply. We'll grab that, and then I think we're done on this planet. I don't really care to do any of these other missions, at least right now. If I decide to do them later, I can, or after the game, I can. I think you can play, still play this game after you beat it, right? Um, but these missions seem pretty interesting, so that's why we were doing them. So we'll finish up with the water supply, unless it has this long chain to the mission. Uh, we'll finish this up, and then we'll go to Vold's. The heck is that thing over there? That is straight to YouTube. They sound real good. They just released their first album. The guitar player played with Angra before. I'll have to check it out because that sounds like something that I'd be into. Melodic death metal, man. Fifth link. Mid ahead Spain tour 2017. Go to them, Remingtons. Go. Probably, I think it probably already happened, though. What she said. Underground cave. This should be interesting. Save it. All right. Scan the information, or scan for information. <laughs> scan the information, guys. Simple as that. It goes on forever. Wow. I come over here and I have to take like a boat or a submarine sort of thing. That's gonna be pretty cool. What is this? Never seen Van Vanadum. Vanadum. What the heck is that? This water is clean of any sulfur or other harmful chemicals likely drawn from deep underground aquifers. Oops. That's it? Uh oh. Cutscene. I didn't expect this. Huh. I wonder what the Remnant Builder's plans were. I'm disappointed, Pathfinder. I thought you were someone I could trust. I welcomed you into my home, and you repay my kindness by robbing me. Didn't take anything? I mean, we haven't taken anything. We just found this place. Hey, I didn't take anything. Left every single drop of water where I found it. Count them if you like. Very glib. Do you know why I do this? My brother tried to help your people when they first came here. The heck is going on here? He showed them where to find shelter, allowed them to take freely from our water tanks. He was killed for his trouble. I won't be as foolish as Asgar. Denying them water won't help. 
Don't you think you're headed toward the same fate by restricting access to a necessity? If I die, so do they. There's not enough surface water on Elidon. These scavengers respect no one, not me, not you. But they do respect the planet. As long as they need me to survive, they live by my rules. What's blocking her view? There's no you one standing in front of her. Everything I've seen? Exactly. You say nothing. You allow me to protect myself and my home how I want. Bugged cutscene. Bugged cutscene. Uh. Say nothing, you allow me to protect myself and my home how I want. What's in it for me? You expect me to do this just because you asked nicely? Your Nexus Fixed. needs resources to survive. Elidon is rich in those. What I gather, I will share, just so long as Elidon remains mine. I don't know. I feel like sharing is caring, you know? But if if I hit that option, then obviously we're going to get into a fight right now. How'd you find this place? How long have you known about this water? Asgar and I found it years ago, on a mining expedition. The remnant nearly killed us. I knew, even then, that I wanted to keep it a secret. It gave us an advantage. It took time to convince Asgar, but he came around eventually. I made him promise. Do we interfere, do we not? I, I couldn't focus on what she was saying because I was too busy being distracted by whatever was blocking her face in the cutscenes. I think she's I think she's doing like keep this a secret so that way I can use it. But there's not a lot of water here, so maybe you should share it, but I won't interfere, I'm going to stop you. If I hit, I won't interfere. That That's probably going to complete the, the mission. I'm going to stop you. She's going to get aggroed, and we're going to have to kill her, probably. But she was doing shady stuff anyway. Not that big of a deal. Let's say we're going to stop you. By keeping this secret, you're preventing anyone from establishing a real home here. Yep. I've allowed your Krogans to stay. It shouldn't be about what you allow. It's not up to you. So now I have to sit by and watch you destroy everything I've built. I will hound you every step of the way. This isn't over. Get them! Kill them if you can! Okay. I don't have ammo. We're fighting over water! Where is she at? Apparently she's already dead. Move it. Move. Keep it up. Great. Ania got away. What now? Oh. If we can form the Nexus. With time and the right people in charge, we could make real change here. Sam? As you wish, Pathfinder. I have relayed the information to the Nexus. Let's hope this works out for the best. So she took off. Check in with Nexus officials at Paradise. Okay, so we go back the way we came. This planet and story is very Fallout. Water was always the big issue in Fallout except for Water Chip, Water for Your Tribe, Project Purity, The Dam. Yeah. I can see that. I think we did the right thing though. She was trying to keep the water for herself and for uh, whoever she thought needed it rather than like 
pretty much everyone that lives here. Let's see. I'm sure it's not over yet. Well, let's go back to... Let's see what this is real fast. And then we'll fast travel to the paradise. And then we'll leave. I promise. Because I know you guys are tired of seeing it deserts. I kind of am too. I just... What are these? Okay, so they're just like remnant areas. That's it. Yeah, no, we're fine. We don't need to, to check that out. Alright, let's go back here. Do that. And let's go. So the first thing that we're going to do when we get to... Uh, like on the ship is probably check emails I don't really want to do crew talks with anyone really um, there are people we have to talk to on the VidCon and then after that then we'll head to Vold and the first thing we're gonna do is the monoliths because if um, if we can Go inside the vault and take care of that, and then add more viability to the planet. Maybe the the hazardous of the the cold and all that stuff will go away. Just like here, the heat's gone now that we did the vault. We don't have to worry about that. So. Good to see. see you, Pathfinder. Director Addison and Supervisor Cash gave me the task of overseeing operations here. With luck, we'll soon see some changes on this trading post. Um, what's your role here? Now that Aeneas gone, what are you trying to do here? I'm sorting through Aeneas books and forwarding what I find to the Nexus. The plan is to maintain this trading post and offer support to the Krogan colony. Later on, we may use it as a base to expand Nexus mining operations on Elodin. I like this guy's accent. Any trouble so far? Have you encountered any resistance? Any violence? Is everything okay? We have enough guards and soldiers to put down any violent opposition. For now, it seems to be working. Perhaps we can rehabilitate the population of the planet, but that's a long ways off. What's the water situation? What are you going to do about the water situation on Elodin? The water you found is being distributed fairly. People can expect to receive as much water as they need when they come here, regardless of who they are. Even the scavengers? Even them. They've been advised that any abuse of the privilege may result in it being taken away. They seem to understand. For now. Alright. Well, I'll leave you to it. Mission complete. Alright, cool. That mission is done. Um... There is no mission over there for that thing. So let's go ahead and get back in the Nomad to extract to the Tempest. And uh, we'll leave this planet. We're done. We are done. Speaking of Fallout, saw a world record today. What is this cutscene? Man, that looks good. Pretty cool departure cutscene there. That was nice. Um, saw a world record speed run all five games in one hour forty one minutes. Holy crap! You have new email. New email. Tell me more. What else do I got? Tell me more before I continue talking. He s somebody speed ran all five games. Holy crap. 
The originals are insane in speed running. If you know what to do and where to go, they're like 10 minutes. Brilliant games. You mean the first, second, and tactics? Remington says, I don't... I think it didn't include tactics. God, that's crazy. Before I started streaming today, I saw a tweet that said, uh, the summer games done quick starts on Sunday, I think. Which is, uh, like a... I think it's like a week-long event where for like 24 hours a day there's some speed running happening on, uh, on whatever channel they're doing it. Different people doing speed runs of different games the, the entire week. So... I don't... I've kind of tuned in a little bit, but I'm not really much, like, speedrunning's not really my thing. Um, but I know that a lot of people love watching it, and there's exciting things that happen, especially uh, if it's a certain game that you like and you want to see it, uh, somebody speedrun it. But I tend to not really watch too much of those. Didn't want to send this from Liam. Pathfinder. I mean, Path Rider. Major help with a thing, a big thing. Can't go into it in in a uh, message. You're not going to like why, but I can explain. Come talk to me. Okay, so we gotta talk to Liam. Serum update from Lexi. I've been monitoring the scavenger you administered the serum to. His neural responses have improved dramatically, and he looks to be making progress. But, and this is the weird part, he does seem to be displaying signs of slight depression. Whatever was affecting his brain chemistry seemed to have been releasing uh, dopamine into his system. Probably, it's probably not dope, it's probably dopamine. Um, however you say that. I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, alright? Uh, his systems and now he's suffering withdrawal. I think he'll even out after a few weeks, but I'm keeping an eye on him. In the meantime, I'll forward my results to the Nexus. If we're lucky, we can use this to stop neural decay before it begins. Nice. We did a good thing then. Alright. So one of the first things I want to do is I need to sell some stuff. So let's quickly sell things real fast. I promise not to take too long, chat. I think most of this is going to be in here. And Garden Ranger Helmet... Cat, I should have recon, every dead eye. Ooh. Max shields, nah, get rid of that. So we're gonna sell a bunch of our armor stuff because I think that's probably what's kind of holding up our inventory spots here. Scavenger armor. Let's get rid of some of these here. Ket Unity Armor. Not bad, but I probably will never wear it. Game's done quick. I absolutely love watching old Doom speedruns, says Remington's. Pretty much every game can be, uh... Sort of have a, a speedrun to it. I like watching, well, some of the times that I've tuned in, there there have been, like, some of the old, like, Final Fantasies, which have been pretty cool to watch. Also makes me want to play them. Uh, those are, those are pretty fun. Barn effects, get rid of that one. That Sidewinder. Talon. Yeah. I want to get the in the items down to like maybe 60 or something. Something like that. The Avenger. Sandstorm. Revenant. Got a bunch of those disciples. Rear carbine. Ash. Okay. 
not much there. Melee, there's not much. I know the mods have a bunch of stuff here. Ultralight, let's get rid of some of these. Reinforced barrel. So the most exciting thing right now is uh, clearing inventory. I probably should have done this off stream, but I didn't get a chance to to go to a. I didn't get a chance to go to one of the the, uh, the merchants. Kind of doing it now, just kind of clearing off some of this stuff. Tactical scope might be interesting. Let's keep that. All right, 57. We are good. Else, else salvageable stuff. 51,000 credits. There we go. All righty. Um, I think we have some. Cryo points to use. Yeah, cryo points. Collect all rewards. Go. Alright, let's use these cryo points here. Hey, Assassin Queen. Good to see ya. Uh, let's see. I think we wanted to do... Gain access to special inventories from merchants. Let's pick that one up. And then, I don't really think we need trade capacity to get more inventory space. Maybe something military or science. Mining. Research data expanded. Uh, I don't really care about getting like things like that at the time. It might be good to get mining stuff, but eh. hunting parties, advanced training, versatility, unlocks one additional consumable slot. Let's get that. That seems like it's a pretty good one. Grab that. Okay. Wait, four cryo pod points available? Wait a minute, what? I didn't know we had that much. Wait, so you're telling me I can get another one? I can get four more? Uh, Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> wow, I didn't know I, I had that many. It's been a while. The Nexus improves its processes for greater efficiency. Uh, mining, accelerated mining, reduce the amount of time to re required to gather minerals, sure. Well, I guess we can get that, um, trade capacity then. Increase inventory. Doesn't say. Better prices. Sure, why not? There we go. Okay. We use all of our cryo points now. So now we get a supply of minerals every like 40 something minutes in game time. And we should have better inventory space and better prices when we sell to merchants and stuff. Yeah, okay, so now the item limit is 150. Wow, it went from 100 to 150. That's pretty good. That is good. All right, let's talk to a couple of people on the VidCon real fast. Prepping VidCon communications. And then we'll talk to Liam, and I, I think Vetra wanted something to talk about. Then we'll go to Vold. Da, da, da. Sassy Queen's got them them space credits, 798. My goodness. Also, by the way, for those that weren't here, I think we're going to open the Mass Effect, Mass Effect Andromeda uh, loot crate that I'm being sent. It doesn't come in until tomorrow, apparently. So we're going to open that on stream on Monday. So we'll see what kind of goodies they put in there. 
from the from the video game. I'm imagining it's going to be a lot of stuff, but uh, we'll see. We'll see just how much comes in there. I'm expecting like some sort of shirt, maybe. Um, maybe some little figurines. I don't. I don't even know. I, I have no idea. Robert just says, "Seem like you up the rates on those on the space credits." The very first stream that we did on Monday, it was every 10 minutes you get 5 credits. And now it's every 5 minutes you get 10 credits, I think. So I kind of swapped that around a little bit. Because 10 minutes is kind of too long, I think, for people that are here when the stream's live. So, we don't have anything in place where like you idle in the channel even when the, the stream's offline. There's nothing like that. I don't think I'll put anything in place. It'll just strictly be, like, live, and whenever I hand out space credits, uh, maybe at the end of the stream or something, for people that are here. Um, okay, so we gotta talk to- we gotta call him and tell him that the, there's no Turian arc here. Maybe he has better information for us. Ryder, I was just about to call you. Everything alright? I've got numbers, coordinates, flashing in my head. I, I think it's an SOS. From Mason. Seems unlikely. That's quite the leap. But just hear me out. What if Mason's using my SAM implant to send me his location? We did find evidence that Natanis may be intact. Forgot who Mason what? is. A bunch of stasis pods were jettisoned from the Ark. No survivors. But the logs show it happened long after Natanis hit the Scourge. But someone's still flying the damn thing. Flying is a strong word. Or keeping it afloat, at least. Here are the coordinates for my implant. Meet me there. We'll find answers. What planet is this on? Meet Avatus at the nav point. Like, where is that? Is that... Will I ever know? It's not a task. Your Turian Arc. I guess we'll toggle that just to see. And then we have to call Addison for something? I don't know what it is. What are we calling her for? Ryder, tell me about the satellite you found. Director, what are you talking about? My alert identified a CK resource tracker. Their emergency tech, full of overrides so they can bypass protocols. Oh. They were designed by Dr. Zoe Jean Kennedy. She disappeared with the Exiles. If her tech has shown up, that could give someone a backdoor to steal from your outposts. Oh, yeah, that, I think that was one of the satellites we found before we came to Elodin, so when we were scanning in the systems or something. Uh, okay, questions, questions. ZK tracker satellites? Why were these trackers allowed to bypass protocols? They're supposed to be hubs, to rapidly track and pull resources if lives are at stake somewhere. That's why they weren't deployed. Tan didn't like anyone bypassing his rubber stamp. If this satellite is new, how is it kept up with our security measures? That's a very good question. Dr. Zoe Jean Kennedy. What was Dr. Kennedy's role in the initiative? She designed the orbital beacons, forward stations, and half the gear in the Tempest. Whoa. She'd ram an upgrade through before the requisition was on Tan's desk. Dr. Kennedy disappeared along with the Exiles. That was a big loss. Personal alert. Pretty extreme to set up a personal alert. Why do that? A lot of Dr. Kennedy's projects were unofficial. But you backed them. Like these trackers. I don't want some asshole using my access codes to cut a backdoor into our resources. Or Tan blaming me for it. But, I also want to know what happened to her. Disappeared. She disappeared with the Exiles, but you aren't calling her one? She sympathized, but we'd never let an expert like that go. She was vital. But in the chaos, a lot of things, and people, went missing. My, uh, my stream labs, which is the... Sort of a little program that I use 
not really it's not really a program though but um it's used to track notifications on the stream like for people that follow or whatever and every so often i could see at the corner of my eye because i have a little window popped out with it and like the left corner of the window for it just randomly just gets this black like square on it for some reason no idea what's causing that but that's uh I catch that every now and again. Uh, where do I start? If we have to find the tech or the person, where do we begin? You got a sliver of data from the first tracker. With more scans, maybe Suvi can assemble a point of origin. Obviously, these trackers are being deployed where initiative tech is concentrated. That means outposts. Try another outpost system, or place more. Maybe you'll draw them out, whoever they are. And when we find them? They're stealing our resources. My concern is Dr. Kennedy, her tech, their lives, in that order. So if they're stealing our resources, it's probably a pretty big deal to, uh, to do that mission over time. We can make sure to do that. Okay, let's 